Hello everyone, welcome to Teach Tech. This is the second video of the Windows Server 2022 administration course. In earlier video, we learned about how to install Windows Server 2022 in VirtualBox. Today, let's look at some of the introduction and overview of the Windows Server 2022. Windows Server 2022 is the latest flagship operating system designed by Microsoft. Server 2022 is used for servers, virtual machines and also on Hyper-V in Azure Cloud. Let's understand some of the benefits of Server 2022. Server 2022 supports many different operations such as enterprise level management using Active Directory. This allows the administrator to control users, computers, groups and other objects to ensure security and production. Data storage is used by Microsoft to make file sharing available to users through access control list and share security along with other newer technologies such as dynamic access control and smart screen. This not only ensures authorization but also additional security practices. Many organizations need to have applications installed and run on their Windows Server. We also use the Windows Server environment to communicate with each other. This can be done using email, SQL databases, SharePoint and many others. Server Manager We install built-in applications using Server Manager, which launches when we log in to the server. This is how the Server Manager looks like. Server Roles We can then install server roles, which are applications that serve users with products like domain name service, dynamic host control protocol for automatic IP addressing, public uh, domain name servers to install Active Directory, and many more. This is how the server role uh, looks like. Server features Server features are applications that are used to enhance the server itself rather than the user. Feature includes server backup, talent client, TFTP server, and many more. This is how the server features looks like. Server installation. We typically install Windows Server 2022 and a previous version on a special hardware that's made for a Windows Server. The server operating system has specific drivers to work with the hardware that is designed for it. If we install server on a client like Windows 11, then the drivers may not all be there to run the hardware on the PC. The same is true if we try to install a Windows Server 2022 on a server designed for Server 2012. The hardware may not match up with the operating system and Microsoft will not support it if you have an issue. Minimum System Requirement to Install Server 2022 The minimum requirement for Windows Server 2022 are the same as they were for 2022 and you can see here. If you only choose the minimum, the server will not run optimally, but it will be supported to run. It's recommended to have much more RAM and storage than the minimum seen on this table. Windows Server has many features that have yet to be covered. It is flexible, affordable, and very useful for most organizations. There has been many changes, especially to the security side in Windows Server 2022 over previous versions. Let's take a look at some of those upgrades. Many of these are going to be security related, starting with the secured core server. The secure core server uses hardware, firmware, and driver capabilities to enable advanced Windows Server security features. Many of these features are available in Windows Secured Core PC, but now they are also available with Secured Core Server hardware and Windows Server 2022. Trusted Platform Module 2.0 It's secure crypto processor chips to provide a secure hardware based store for sensitive cryptographic keys and as well as data. This includes system integrity measurements. TPM 2.0 can verify that the server has been started with the legitimate code and it can be trusted by subsequent code execution. Firmware executes with high privilege and it's often invisible to traditional anti malware. This has led to a rise in the number of firmware-based attacks. By using these secured core server processors, it provides firmware protection. 
This supports verification of wood processes using smooth, using something called dynamic root of trust for measurement or DRTM technology. Many of us have used BIOS for many years when booting up their computer to go into setup mode. But now, most computers use what's called as UEFI secure boot. This is a security standard that protects your servers from malicious rootkits. When the server is started, the firmware checks the signature of each and every boot component, including the firmware drivers and the operating system. If the signatures are valid, then the server will boot and the firmware gives control to the operating system. Virtualization based security or VBS uses hardware virtualization features and they create and isolate a secure region of memory from the normal operating system. This protects your computer against an entire class of vulnerabilities used in cryptocurrency, mining attacks. And VVS also allows for the use of credential guard. This is where user credentials and secrets are stored in a virtual container that the operating system cannot access. Secure connections are the most important thing that we need today to keep business continuity and transport layer security or TLS 1.3. TLS 1.3 is the latest version of the internet's most deployed security protocol. This encrypts data to provide a secure communication channel between two or more computers. HTTPS and TLS 1.3 are now enabled by default on Windows Server 2022. Server Message Block or SMB directly supplies high bandwidth, low latency, networking fabrics for workloads like Storage Space Direct, Storage Replica and others. Previously, enabling SMB encryption disabled direct data placement. Now, data is encrypted before data placement and this leads to far less performance degradation. SMB over QUIC updates the SMB 3.1.1 protocol in Windows Server 2022 data center as well as Azure Edition and a supported Windows client that uses Quick protocol instead of TCP. Quick can run over UDP which runs much faster. By using SMB over Quick, users and applications can securely and reliably access their data. Mobile users no longer will need to use a VPN to access their file servers over SMB on the Windows Server. Azure Arc enabled servers with Windows Server 2022 brings on-premises and multi-cloud Windows servers to Azure. When a hybrid machine is connected, it becomes a connected machine and is treated as a resource in Azure. There has been many improvements to Windows admin centers to manage Windows Server 2022, including capabilities to both report on the current state of the secured core feature that I have already previously mentioned which allows customers to enable those features. Hot patching is a new way to install updates on Windows Server Azure Edition virtual machines. And the advantage of this is it does not require a reboot after installation. There are several platform improvements for Windows containers, including application compatibility and the Windows container experience using Kubernetes. A major improvement includes reducing the Windows container image size by up to 40% and this can lead to a 30% faster startup time using better performance. There are many more improvements to security and performance. You can find it furthermore at learn.microsoft.com. Server 2022 editions. There are three editions of Windows Server 2022 that you will find in the enterprise. The first is the standard edition, next is the data center edition and last is the data center Azure edition. And this edition is only going to be found if you sign up for it within Microsoft Azure. Windows Server 2022 standard edition is the primary and the most popular version of the three. Although it includes all general features, it does not have hot patching and software defined networking. The storage replica option is available but it's limited to a 
2 terabyte partition and it does not include storage spaces direct. It offers an option for two virtual machines plus one Hyper-V host port license along with the two isolated containers. Host card gen support is not available in this version. Next, the data center edition of Windows Server 2022 has additional features that the standard edition does not have. Although hot patching is not available here as well, it includes software-defined networking. The data center edition offers unlimited storage replicas and includes the storage spaces direct feature. Inherited activation can be done as a host or a guest. The data center edition offers unlimited virtual machines plus one Hyper-V host power license along with unlimited virtual isolated containers. The host guardian Hyper-V support is available and also there is support for a shielded virtual machines. The Windows Server 2022 Data Center Azure Edition is the most premium among the three editions. And as the name says, it is supported on Azure and offers specific features not available outside of the Azure. Hot patching is a great feature and that lets admin apply patches without rebooting and SMB over quick. The admin center includes a menu for Azure Hybrid Center, Azure Kubernetes Services, Azure Backup, Azure File Sync, Azure Monitor, and Azure Security Center. And of course, this version includes all the other features that the standard and data center comes with as well. These additions can vary greatly in price, so be sure to buy the version that has the features that you need. If you decide upgrading from a previous version of a Windows Server, it is a good idea, but be sure to know ahead of time from which versions you can upgrade. You can upgrade from 2016 to 2022 or 2019 to 2022 directly, but be sure to only upgrade from the same version. For instance, if you had the standard version in 2016 or 19, stay with that standard version on 2022. You can always upgrade to data center if needed after the upgrade. You can also upgrade from 2022, but not directly. First upgrade to the 2016 and then to 2022. You will need to reinstall the operating system if you have a beta version. You can upgrade your standard version of Windows Server 2022 to the data center version using the DISM command followed by the software key. The command is DISM space license key. You will then be prompted to reboot and it will become the new version after logging in. You can convert your evaluation version to the same version you currently own. This would mean downloading the evaluation from Microsoft and then adding the key after purchase and registering the product. You can still keep your Active Directory and install programs by doing so. Upgrades can have their own limitations, but if you have done a lot of customizations on your older versions of Windows Server, it's a good time saver to upgrade rather than start from a formatted drive. There are some limitations on upgrade, such as you cannot upgrade 32 bit to 64 bit. You can have only one language at a time during upgrades, but you can install additional languages after the upgrade. You cannot upgrade from a beta version to a full version. There are a couple of installation options you will be presented with during the installation. The first is manual installation from a formatted drive. This means that there is no previous version of the Windows Server installed and you will need to manually choose each option during installation. For a single server, this is not a bad option, but for many servers, you may want to consider an automated one. The second is the upgrade option. Be sure to use only a version that is upgradable or you could lose data or get an error message during the upgrade. There are several ways to install Windows Server using an automated installation. The first is the answer file option. You can download a free answer file and install it on a USB drive. The installation will use the answers you give such as the name, IP address, partitions, and sizes. 
when done it will complete the installation on its own. The second is the system center configuration manager option. This uses a program from Microsoft to pre-create operating system images that you can deploy to a server and have it installed including patches and software programs. It is a bit complicated to set up but can be a time saver once you do. If you are installing a virtual machine then consider system center virtual machine manager. This product is similar to configuration manager but is designed for creating virtual machines very quickly after setup. The last is windows deployment services. This option uses a program that's free built into a windows server which allows you to pre-create an operating system image and then deploy when the computer boots up using the PXE environment. You simply pick up which image you want and it installs it very quickly. You should have extensive knowledge on automated setups prior to installation with the exceptions of the answer file option. In this course, there will be four chapters. Chapter 1, Managing Windows Server 2022. This chapter will include videos like Setup Server 2022, PowerShell Commandlets, Roles and Features, Computer Management and Microsoft Management Console, Windows Admin Center, EFS and Drive Encryption, a Remote Desktop Service. Chapter 2, Active Directory Creation and Administration. First video will be Domain and Forest Creation. Active Directory Management Tools Adding a second domain controller or child domain Joining Active Directory from Workstation File Sharing and Drive Mapping Group Policy DNS Management and DHCP Installation Next Chapter 3 will be Monitoring and Maintenance Inside this chapter there will be videos like Backing up Windows Server 2022 Volume Shadow Copy Event logs for troubleshooting, file server resources manager for security, performance monitor, task manager and resource monitor. Next chapter will be Windows Server 2022 in the Azure Cloud. This in this chapter includes videos such as the Azure environment, installing Windows Server 2022 in Azure, accessing the server in the cloud. Azure Active Directory synchronization. And finally, there will be the last chapter for this course, which is conclusion. In this chapter, you will learn on how to advance your Server 2022 learning process to the whole new level. With this, we have come to the end of this video. If you are liking this course, then do subscribe to the channel so that you never miss an update. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video. Bye bye.